Is there, is there a big problem with, with Roseanne? A lot of celebrities, the attempt to mainstream them as normal human beings. And you see this from both yeah. sides. I, I, I think to a certain extent, you saw the Republicans did this with Kid Rock, where suddenly Kid Rock yes. was going to run for Senate in Michigan. <laughs> and he could have won. And he, he definitely could have won. <laughs> and you see Kanye West, they're doing the same yes. thing now. right? Kanye West is, is, yeah. is a, a grand expositor of the Constitution of the United States. And listen, I'm happy for anybody to think for themselves. If Kanye wants to talk about voting Republican, I'm a Republican, I'm happy with that, that's fine. But to pretend that entertainers, I mean, I've lived out here my entire life, to pretend that entertainers and show people aren't a bunch of crazy people is just nuts. Thank you. They're all, like, yeah. the, the, the level of nuttiness in this town is so high, and yet the halo effect that we have about celebrities is that, well, if they're famous and I see them on TV, that must mean that they're smart in real life. No, no. Well, it's a biological trick. And what it is, is when you evolved, when, when all of us lived thousands of years ago, we looked to the most successful member of the tribe, the one who was older, the one that everybody revered. He was the best hunter. He was the smartest warrior. He was the one with the scars in his face that had survived battle. And he could relay to you the lessons of a life well lived. This is what I learned. This plant's poisonous. That snake will kill you. And all of this stuff now gets relayed to someone who's on a giant screen. Now we see Brad Pitt, his head is 20 feet tall. There's music playing when he talks. His lines are all carefully constructed by a team of writers. And we get sucked into it like he's a real hero. And we do that for anybody that gets attention, whether it's Kim Kardashian or Taylor Swift. We, we see these people and millions of people are paying attention to them. So we assume that there's some quality behind everything that they're saying. There's something special about them. But there's not. It's a biological trick that is it's perpetrated through, and this is not by a grand conspiracy, but through media, through being able to put them on a YouTube screen or on a television or a laptop or wherever you're digesting it. And the knowledge that when you're watching a clip where Kanye West is talking about running for president and you look down at the number and it says, oh my God, 24 million people have watched this. And there's 15,000 thumbs up. What the f and this is, this is the world that we're living in today. So you, you, you say, well, it must be, God, Kanye's going to win. Kanye's going to win. And this is exactly how Donald Trump got into office. We have a popularity contest to see who becomes president. And we have the very first ever popular person enter a popularity contest. A guy who is a long time media personality who knew very well how to manipulate that. How, he was charismatic. He's a, a, a bold speaker. He's not afraid to piss people off. He knows he has a bunch of people that like what he has to say and he can rile them up. And this is what's strange about taking the word of celebrities over the word of professors or of public intellectuals or of people that have actually carefully considered all these things that they're discussing and have a lot of information. And they're basing these conclusions and these statements on a long history of research. And this is, this is not what you're going to get from Kanye. He's a guy who doesn't even read. He doesn't read. <laughs> and they're like, he's our guy. He uses your incorrectly all the time. He uses the wrong your. You're like... <laughs> Like Pierce Morgan, I mean, we both have our thoughts on Pierce Morgan, mm -hmm. but one of the things he, he wrote, like he corrected him and he's like, no, you're never going to be president. You know, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he shouldn't tweet that because that's exactly what Barack Obama said about exactly, Donald Trump. Exactly, exactly. And then now Donald Trump's president.